Hi guys, so we are here and we're gonna read a story. Um, and a lot of, we're gonna hear a lot of ooh sounds in our story and we're gonna see our sight words in our story. But I also want you to turn your listening ears on for two vocabulary words, okay? So the first word that we're gonna hear is the word demand. Demand. The word demand means to ask authoritatively and with force, right? You might say, I demand you give that back to me. Um, so to demand something means that you think maybe that it belongs to you or that you think you deserve it or something was taken away from you and you want it back, right? Like you are, you, you need this, right? You are authoritatively, you're kind of upset. You demand to have something. You don't just ask for it, right? You don't just say, can I please have that, right? You demand that you have it. So demand, you're going to hear that word in the book. And so when, when someone demands something, usually they're pretty upset, right? Or they're angered or they're, there's some emotion behind demanding something instead of just asking something. Can you think of a time in your life where maybe you demanded something? Like maybe a friend took a toy out of your hands without asking, they snatched it away and you said, I want that back, right? You didn't ask, you demanded, you demanded, you said, I want that back, it is mine. And you didn't ask the right way, right? Demand. So we're gonna hear that word in our story. And another word we're gonna hear is the word emergency. Emergency. Now, an emergency, you've probably heard that before, but what does it really mean? An emergency is something that um, unexpected happens and it requires immediate attention, right? Like right now, uh, how we're doing our remote learning. It is an emergency, right? The world is in an emergency in order to stay safe, right? And, the, and that it needed immediate action, which is why we are home. It is an emergency. Um, when the police get a phone call and they say, and someone says they need help, that is an emergency, right? So, um, and the police, they put their sirens on and they drive fast and they go, and that way people get out of their way because it is an emergency for them to go somewhere. Um, so demand and emergency are two words that we're gonna hear in this story. And I want you to think about um, what those words mean and how they fit into this story, okay? All right, let's read. This story is called Super Tools. Super Tools. And this story is fiction. It is fantasy, right? It is fantasy. The fantasy and fiction stories, um, we usually see that they have characters and a setting and that there's a plot, right? That there's a beginning, a middle, and an end. Um, so something's going on here. Um, so I want you to think about maybe what the author's purpose was in writing the story. Why did the author use these characters and this setting? and the beginning, middle, end to cause this. What is the main idea of this story? So, super tools. How can we work together to make our lives better? Read about how a girl's forgotten writing tools work together to become useful again. Mm, let's find out. A few weeks ago, Lucy's mom and dad brought a new computer home. This is so cool, exclaimed Lucy. Lucy used the computer all the time. But not everyone was happy about the new computer. Hmm, who do you think's upset and angry about Lucy using the new computer? Can you make any predictions based off of the illustrations and maybe the title of the story, Super Tools? Let's read on. Lucy didn't know it, but her writing tools felt sad and useless. Useless, that ending less means that use less. They are less than being used. They are less than being used, right? So that ending is there to say they are without use, right? They're not being used. They are without use. They are useless. One day, while she was at school, they had an emergency meeting, right? This was brand new and unprecedented. This was the first time Lucy got a new computer and she's not using them anymore. So they're having an emergency meeting, right? Immediate action must take place. Lucy hasn't used us in weeks, cried the markers. Can we demand to be used? Asked the crayons. No, that would be rude. But we can remind her 
how great we are, said the pencils. Yes, they all agreed. Let's remind her. So they're the markers and the pens and the crayons and the pencils. They wanted to call an emergency meeting and they want to demand to be used. How do you think they feel that they're saying that? You can even see in the illustration, right? Want the marker there, he's crying. They feel useless and sad, which we hear from the words, right? And then by the other context that we're hearing, we can tell that they're not only just sad, they're angry and they're so upset, right? Not just a little bit sad, they're really sad. They want a demand to be used again, it's an emergency. Any predictions on what you think is gonna happen? How can they remind her? Let's find out. After school, as soon as Lucy came through the door, she grabbed a glass of juice and went right to her computer. She had to write a report about birds. The writing tools watched and waited. When Lucy was done, she printed her report. That night, the writing tools got busy. They worked together to make a picture for Lucy. The pencils made a sketch. The markers drew the birds in the tree. The crayons drew the sun in a blue sky. The picture was good enough to frame. So it was so good, it was good enough to frame. And they worked together. The pencils made a sketch. The markers drew the, drew the bird in the tree and the crayons drew the sun in a blue sky. So each one of the writing tools, they all did something to make that picture. So they all worked as a family. They all worked together to create a beautiful picture. The next day was Saturday. Lucy woke up late. Then she went to get her report. Lucy gasped. You know what gasp means? <gasps> she gasped. She couldn't believe her eyes. Why is she so surprised? Imagine you woke up with a paper that was or a beautiful illustration next to your stuff and you didn't make it? <gasps> she gasped with excitement. Who drew this great picture, she asked. Did you draw this, Lucy asked mom and dad. You know the answer to that, they laughed. Stop joking, you drew that great picture. That made Lucy think that she wished she had drawn it. It is fun to draw, she said. So how is Lucy feeling now? That made Lucy think she wished she had drawn it. It is fun to draw. I love to draw. And maybe she's thinking, oh yeah, I haven't used my writing super tools in a really long time. I wish I had drawn this. She realizes that she, maybe she wasn't using them in a while. Lucy hung the picture in her room. Then she took out her pencils and crayons and markers. I'll draw my own picture for my report, she said. Lucy and her pencils and crayons and markers worked together. They drew a super picture. From that day on, Lucy kept drawing and the writing tools felt happy and useful, full of use. Oh, good word. First they felt useless without any use, and now they feel happy and useful, full of use. They're getting used beyond. So how did Lucy's tools work together to become useful again? Instead of demanding that she use them, she sh they showed her how wonderful it is when they work together and that they can work together to make beautiful, amazing illustrations, right? I love to make illustrations and draw. So what is the theme of this story? That they could work together and be happy, right? The pencils made a sketch, the markers drew birds in the tree, and the crayons drew the sun in the blue sky. The writing tools worked together to make their lives better. Oh, good job, Super Tools. They did amazing. All right, guys, I hope you really enjoyed that story. If you feel up to it, put your Super Tools to the test and make an illustration of any kind that you want. All right, love you guys. See you later.